Today, we're going 30 laps from Daytona. We may not even get a chance to catch our breath here today. We're going to be going for the win from start to finish. Ain't no hanging in the back. I feel like today's the day I go snag another Daytona win. So strap the TV down, subscribe if you're new, and let's go ahead and jump into the concept. We are rolling off the grid in position number three. Being up front may be the safest position you can be at on a super speedway. The green flag is waving up from Daytona, man. I really want to get a win here. We may win or die trying in this one. To the back bumper of the number 16. Remember, you can't get away with too much bump drafting with these B-class cars. So you got to be very careful. They're trying to bump draft on the outside. I think the bottom group may come in here for the first lap or two. But the outside is really always the moving group. That's always the way to go. We have a great shot to win today's race. To the back bumper of the 16. Big shot already. We got some aggressive pushers. Some aggressive bump drafters here today at Daytona. 29 to go at the line. Nice little bump to the back bumper of this number 16. Trying to get locked and loaded going into turn number 3 and 4. All the 6 is trying to pin him down. Here we go with 16 car to the point. They're not giving us too much room down here. Just look behind me. 2 by 2 by 2 by 2. I don't think anyone's laying down here today. They know how important track position is with this B-class car. Now the 6 has the opportunity to jump down. The question is, will he take it? He got the opportunity earlier. He did not take it. I nearly got knocked in the corner panel from the number 7. Whoa, almost a door slam. This race is getting more and more intense by the lap. Look at how desperate they're getting now to pin us down, man. The 13's gonna jump down to the bottom. Whoa, 16 sideways. Once again, here comes another shot from the guy behind me. Heavy shot that time by, and the leader just got turned. Oh boy, hold your breath. He may come back up onto the racetrack. I really hope he doesn't. Oh, two cars out of control. Another bobble. Everyone's ducking and weaving right now. Here we go. We're going to gain a couple positions back. We're well inside the top five. About to put it back inside the top three. If we can get to the back bumper of the number 16. The lap car is here, man. Where is he going? He's going high. So we're going to be three wide going into turn number one and two. And he's going to try to use that lap score as a draft. He's trying to pick up a draft off of that lap score. And it really helped him quite a bit there. But as we go three wide, he may need to crack the throttle. And it may get a little bit tight here coming off turn number two. Let's hope we can keep it clean. 16 went down to the apron. But that really helped the outside for the first time at about five laps. They are really pulling. Where did that 11 come from? He just shot out of a cannon. Now pay attention to the two car because he's now battling for the lead up front. I really got to seal this hole here and keep them from jumping down on me. When it gets down to the end like this, your friends are where you find them. You're willing to work with anyone in front of you. Anyone who looks like they know what they're doing is the guy you want to push. With another lap score ahead. Whoa, 16. Jab the apron and nearly came up and wiped out everyone. There is a lap score ahead. I have no idea where he's going. He's running in the middle right now, which is a terrible sign. Doesn't look like he's pulling over to the apron. I would assume he's going to pull to the top. And no, he's staying low. I'm going to check up because this may get a little bit wild. The lap score. Where are you going, bud? He's going in the middle. This is not good, man. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, please don't try to hop down. We're three wide. Oh, my goodness. If you're a lap down, you got to get out of the way because this pack is hauling it around here. Whoa, there we go, boys. That was a door slam. The 2 and the 13 nearly got tangled up. You think these drivers want to win here today at Daytona? You're seeing it right now, which is what everyone's willing to do. You know things are going to pop off when we get the white flag. And when I say pop up, we might have cars pop out of this racetrack. Now approaching five laps remaining. Another big burst of momentum for the inside down the back straight away. But they're working hard to get paired up for the end. Big shot from the guy behind me. Don't look now, but there's more lap traffic ahead. Where will this car go? Will he go middle? Will he go bottom? Will he go top? He's on the apron right now. This could get a bit wild. Let's hope he can keep it down there. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to do here at Daytona. But he is going to stay down there, but not without almost making contact with the 16 who nearly hit the apron. I don't know if I can make it five more laps around here, man. The two nearly got hooked up there. They are really shoving each other off down the back straight away. I thought the two car was going to go around off turn number two. He's going to hold it, and now he has a 
big lead up front. This is enough to get to the bottom. I think they're both gonna go to the bottom. The seven went to the bottom. The two stayed high. Once again, I'm hoping the outside gets checked up. I wanna go up there if I can. I'm surprised none of these guys are jumping up there now that they have the opportunity. The 13 is thinking about it. If I was the 13, I'd be jumping high right now. Now is time. Now is your ticket up to the front if you want it. Four to go with the line. Whoa, boy! 16 is sideways on the apron, on the track, on the apron. And turn number three and four. The seven just got a big shot to his back bumper. It's gonna be three to go and we get back around to the line if we make it back around to the line. We gotta start thinking about a final out plan to win this thing. Right now, I'm boxed in. I think I gotta wait and see if they get shuffled up up front. Here we go. We got some guys jumping high and block the top. I think the seven may have went up there, but now he's back down to the bottom groove. At the line, three ago. Next time by will be two laps remaining. We're seeing the bottom groove just get hooked up the best they have been all race. The combination they have down there is great. If this is an opportunity to clear the top, I'm taking it. I've been talking about it for the past 20 laps now. I think we might see someone go up there. Who's gonna go? Who's gonna block it? I need to get to the rear bumper of the 16, and there you see it. The 13 went high. I think that may be the winning pass, and they're wrecking behind me. Big crash behind me, or are we going to keep it green? He's going to come back up. This may be a yellow huge crash. That's definitely going to be a yellow flag. The yellow flag has fallen, and we're going overtime from quite possibly position number five. Oh, hell, it wouldn't be Daytona without a little bit of drama. We're going overtime. One overtime. One attempt at a green-white checkered. We are actually going to be restarting in position number six. So, for the first time all day, we are going to be on the outside. Which, looking up front, man, that 16 has been quick. That 13 has been quick. This pairing on the outside is going to be pretty strong. Oh, man, they're taking them fast. Why are they taking them so fast? This is going to get pretty wild. We're going, like, almost 90 miles per hour coming to get the green. Now, we're backing them up in the green flag is out this is gonna get wild the inside is gonna get checked up bad because of this man we're gonna blow their doors off they have too big of a lead if we can get paired up now it's gonna be great and that's why they're blocking the outside they knew they screwed up that seven did not restart very well so unfortunately i'm now the fourth car on the outside but i think a few of them might jump down to the bottom when they get that opportunity i'm just very trapped right now very boxed in this time by will be the white flag. Everyone's planning their moves for the final lap. When do you go down to the bottom? The 13 is going. I believe he's going to go. A couple of them may go down to the bottom right here. I'm locked in behind this number 16. We are now the second car on the outside. Let's see if he goes down to the bottom. He's going down to the bottom as well. So right now, I'm leading the outside. I think somebody's going to come up and block it. But will anyone give me a shot here? Come on, just make it to the white. And we may have a shot to win this thing. Side by side with the seven. Help is coming. Help is coming. Help is coming. Help is coming. Here we go boys side by side for third what kind of momentum is this going to be on the final lap they're going to come up and block it obviously we're to the back bumper of that number 13 i might want to try giving him a little shot here see if i can make him clear the bottom groove they're getting wild behind me i have nowhere to take this momentum but i'm going to give this 13 a heck of a shot on the back straightaway we're pinning them down great here we come final time where do you want to be Let's see how big of a push we can give him. We're locked in. We're three wide. We are three wide. I am pushing and we are three wide and I'm hooked. Are you serious, man? We've done everything to win that race and always get the bad end of it here at Daytona. It's like sometimes... Oh my goodness, bro. They all died. Go 16, push me. Good win there, Tilger. 
I'm having trouble getting back going here, but we are going up to second gear. The field is frozen. It's standing still right now. Look at how many positions are right here ahead of me, man. We're gonna stack a few of them. I just felt like we did everything to win that. I feel like we were honestly going to come back around and get that W, and there's blocking up front and at the line. Definitely not gonna be a good result, but it was a heck of a finish. P12 after that one. 17 went high, 15 hooked him in the corner panel. Man, I feel like we was gonna win this if we got back around. I think everyone died but the number 13. The 23 has some momentum. Jeez, it's a war zone. We broke eye racing. The 23 was in the 11th position at the white flag, and he managed to pull off this win. I don't know how he did it. How did the C's merge for the number 23 is the question. Right here, you see it. Three wide, three wide. I get hooked. Everyone gets hooked. And he didn't get to him till right at the line. And he pulled it off there at the last second. It's a shame because I really felt like we was going to win that thing, man. We were about to be leading the outside. Assuming the 13 was going to jump down. With a big shot, there's a good chance we was going to make it back around with the victory. But I said at the very beginning, we were either going to win or die trying to win. And today, we died trying to win. I would like to thank my Patreon League members who I go eye racing with on Thursday nights for supporting the channel the schedule is on the screen now if you guys want to join the patreon also i'd like to thank my vip members chtv christian elliott Derek dorsey joshua kane sanquez gregory and timothy stubblefield thank you guys so much for supporting the channel subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you guys in the next video